Hey YouTube. Emotions are a thing. So I was gonna show you my daily life for like school and work and such. But then my friend WhatsApp me this morning and said, dude, go check Charles Trippy's Twitter. He and Allie are getting a divorce. And it's true, they are. And I'm extremely sad. It feels like a friend of mine is getting a divorce and I've had friends get married. I don't want them to get a divorce. I want them to be happy. And it's crazy to feel as heartbroken as I do, but I am. I'm extremely heartbroken that they're getting a divorce. And I'm sure it's what's best for their relationship. I don't doubt them. I don't doubt whose fault it is. It just makes me sad. And this isn't the first time the glass has been shattered about YouTube for me. As many of you know, I'm sure, a few YouTubers that I looked up to were called out on Tumblr as harassing slash assaulting people and this makes me very sad because though sometimes my opinions differed than theirs or you know some things they said yeah I agreed was kind of problematic maybe not the best way to phrase it maybe not the best satire to use I still looked up to them. I wanted to buy their products. I wanted to support them. I liked what they did. I thought they were genuinely good people. And my emotions for quite a while was still that they are generally good people. And it confuses me about how someone that I could still see as so genuinely good, that what they produce is good, that their role models because of the good they do could screw up and mess up and be someone who I now can't stand because even in the slightest bit I can't support someone who's done something that horribly wrong and even more so if it's someone I actually know which Earlier, last year, it was someone I knew. It was a friend of mine I had made in New York that I wanted to get to know more, that I fully supported. I loved their music. But then the glass came shattering down and I didn't know how to feel. I don't know how to feel. And I don't know how to feel about any of this. Everyone, including myself, forgets that YouTube is just portraying our lives. That this isn't 100% our lives, but it is still our lives. And we're all just regular people. And it just has always been in, it's always just been in this happy little bubble. You know, glass all around protecting us. And now life is coming in. And we're realizing YouTube isn't as perfect as it seemed. And that's a scary thought. So yeah, what's your opinion? I can't think of much more. My emotions are just so confused right now about everything in general, but mostly about the glass shattering. 
But I do wish Charles and Allie the best. I hope things work out for them. I hope they stay friends. I will always be a CTFXC supporter. I will always support both of them in anything they choose to do. I love them so much. And I wish them healthy lives. See you tomorrow, YouTube.